So we're back for the second part of the um, video tutorial set and I hope that you've watched the first one because we're going to carry on straight from where we left off. Now where we left off was the fact that we had two objects and they're seamlessly into one item mesh meaning they look as though they're actually combined together. However they're not and there are advantages of working this way for instance that if you want to rotate or do anything within uh, Modo it's very easy to do that you can do a scale or you can do a rotation on everything within that same mesh layer however if you wanted to have them in a separate mesh layer it's very easy to do um, intelligently what Modo can do is if you double click on any polygon according to um, what surface you're selecting it will automatically know that it's not actually directly connected to another polygon model unless it's permanently connected so you can see here that um, even though they're not directly in, interactive with each other Modo is able to, to determine that this is one single mesh however if I wanted to move this I'm going to go through these moving tools in a minute and put it inside the other mesh it still doesn't mean that Modo thinks that it's actually one whole complete mesh double clicking will automatically select that one unless they really are joined and welded together now I want to bring this um, mesh here into its own mesh layer so what I do is simply just double click on all the polygons control and X to cut it and go to the new in the items menu and you can see mesh now what we can do is control and V will paste it into there now we can actually switch between the two now by default whatever mesh layer we've selected will automatically make the other mesh layer a wireframe this can be changed however before I go into all of that we're going to go into to, uh, to navigate not around the 3D viewport that we've already done but navigate the actual object in 3D space itself so what I'm going to do for now is I'm just going to work on one object and just so we can see how we can rotate it, scale it and so forth so first of all we need to better know where we're selecting the vertices, edges, polygons or the actual item itself and simply they're able to be selected from above here by pressing this, the uh, space bar we can actually alternate between these three important ones here the vertices, edges and polygons if we hold down the control key and the space bar we can change any view at random on this nice um, pie selectable menu here so it's just something I mentioned this that's the control and space so we can we're not restricted to um, how we actually get around we don't have to continuously go to here every single time we want to change and the reason why I mention this now is is because when we're using the rotating um, the transform tools we're going to need sometimes to actually work in these specific 2d um, orthographic views so back to where we want we want to select this item we're on the items mode at the moment and we want to just literally move it around the screen so to do this we just press the W key this is our basic transform um, tool and we can literally click on any desired handle to move in that axis we can see the bottom left where it is the Z X and the Y we can do that freehand or we can numerically actually put these in so we can zero with these things off for instance like so now when you actually move your actual uh, mesh by selecting all the polygons I'll just move these say over to here we go back to item mode again and press W and you'll notice that our handle has moved over to here now what essentially I've done is by moving the item by selecting all the polygons I've actually moved it away from its actual tool handle it's not a permanent thing but just something that I should mention now normally when you move things you want to move it by an item now when you move this by the item 
it's not going to change the tool handle but we can easily get the tool handle to center directly on the actual center of our object. Now there is sometimes slightly more confusing um, than other applications a action center and this is all about the way that this tool interacts with the object. However just to quickly get this tool back into the center of this object all we do is simply go to edit and we go to pivot to bounding box center and you can see that it locks straight to the center and then it eliminates the problem of having the handle elsewhere we're going to go for the action center a bit later on but for now we can see this is an easy way to get it back into the center of our object now you can see that we've actually got these handles here so we can actually move across a specific plane of two axes simultaneously so this one here you can see here that we're actually able to move between the Z and the X this one here we are able to move between the Y and the X free form around so that's kind of handy there we've obviously got the other handle here which are able to move across this axis as well so that's kind of the actual um, transform tool to get around I'm just going to center this off into 3D space at the moment so now we can move on and press the E key the E key gives us our rotation again in any desired um, rotation you can see it exactly the same way it would be now as we rotate you can see that I can actually pull my mouse handle off you can see I've got this like um, line pulling away from the actual rotation what this does is it slows down the actual movement so I can get much much more accurate on movement the closer I get the more faster it becomes and sometimes that can be out of control I move away and allows me to slowly move it in the orientation that I want so this is very very handy it's got a nice full off full off um, value there if you wanted to move it into a specific axis it's very easy you can just rotate say 90 degrees that's the position um, rotation I'll just put this position back to zero so we want to rotate around this axis we can we want to rotate around this axis we can so it's very very easy to do now if we press the R key this gives us our scale again we can click on these handles and we can scale in the direction that we want or we can click in the center one and scale globally which means it's not going to change the actual orientation of our actual model sometimes you've got to be very careful what you're actually selecting you can click in the center here you can see that we're not actually changing the actual form of our model we're actually globally doing it there we've actually also got these handles so we've got the same as we did for the transform tool to actually scale between two axes simultaneously so these can be very 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 handy so we've got our W we'll just make sure I'm told we've got a W for transform E for rotation and R for transform if you press the Y key we've got like a universal manipulator tool which gives us more than one tool at once this is something that I enjoy very much within um, DAS 3D Hexagon and it's something that you can use very very um, distinctively between all of them you can see we can move rotate and scale so that's fantastic to be able to do that so that kind of covers how to actually navigate around here and how to get us out the bother should we move our model by moving the mesh itself rather than the actual item and just so you can see that now we've actually locked it to there it's not having this problem anymore because we've locked our pivot to the center of the model so we're going to go into the next tutorial in a minute and we're going to cover more of this area here and here and how we can change a few things in the system properties <laughs>